Hey everyone, today I have another art journal flip through and this journal is quite a little bit different from my previous ones and I'll explain to you as I go along. So these I just made this uh, thing myself. This was like a trim from Michael's. It was white and I um, spray painted it to look pretty <laughs> like I like. <laughs> and then this I already showed this. I made this cover and I'm very proud of it. So it fits an A5 size and the journal I have here tucked in is the Stillman and Byrne Beta Series uh, soft cover. I think this one is the eight and a half inches on five and a half inch, something like that. It's um, like an A5 size. What do I think about this journal? I have used several Stillman and Byrne journals. I highly recommend them. In this particular case, with kind of the way that this journal came together I feel it was a little bit of overkill this has extremely heavy weight paper so if you do any kind of you know like a junk journal or put stuff in a journal whatever you want to call it adding lots of like ephemera and that sort of thing I'm sorry about <laughs> this struggle the struggle is real then I don't think I would recommend this. This journal, the Beta series, you know, with a really, really heavy paper, this would work best for people that really do, I would say, more complicated or layered watercolor work. I think if you just do kind of quick sketches or you like to add stuff, to your journal like I did here. I don't think there's a need for this super thick paper. Sometimes it intimidated me a bit or I felt it was kind of a waste to take this beautiful paper and stick stuff in it and not use it. But I also really wanted to, you know, use it the way that I felt like using it and not try to fit what I'm doing to what I think should be in it. If that makes sense so let's just get to it now I started this I took this uh, sketchbook with me on a trip and I intended to do mostly pencil and ink and watercolor sketches in it but then it kind of took a different turn and yeah let's take a look so the first page is the palette that I took for that trip I have a video I will put a link here showing everything that I took um, my travel kit and I think this is a really fun way of starting a journal I got this idea from Liz Liz Steele I don't know why I always struggle saying <laughs> Liz but uh, yeah she deserves credit for this so it started as I said as like a daily type of journal but yeah some days were just more challenging and then um, yeah I didn't actually sketch daily on my trip so first day um, I had a vegan burger <laughs> that's my sketch of it and then my girl had blue ice cream and um, yeah she liked it so I painted that Second day I spent with my best friend in Tel Aviv and this was like a very loose kind of sketch of this beautiful flower bed that they planted in the middle of this uh, square next to one of the major theaters. And this is a little um, fast sketch of a corner in her uh, clinic. So um, yeah, she has these beautiful turquoise chairs and... That was kind of my impression of that day. Then the only time we went to the beach, which was actually, I think this time I grew up in Israel and this April 2019 was the coldest April in the last hundred years or something. So um, yeah, we did spend one day at the beach, but it was like on the sand and the wind was cold and everything, but we were there. <laughs> So this is a very loose 
representation of that beach and here is my um, I also want to show you the fails because <laughs> I consider this a fail <laughs> so supposed to be my girl and I think uh, Lily and I think somehow it looks a bit like a dog so I'm really sorry maybe it's the hair I don't know but um, it was just fun to paint and I just love the way that watercolor flows so the next day we spend most of it with uh, my best friend and her family and you know that was just like too complicated and I wasn't going to do I don't feel comfortable doing like portraits of people I know so I just decided to kind of conceptualize a bit <laughs> and I decided to go with a camera because we both really really love taking pictures and traveling we've traveled together and we like to talk about trips that we'll do and we've done and um, yeah we were also talking about the camera because she's in the market for a new one and I was um, yeah really praising mine which is the Fujifilm TX10 or is it XT10? Yeah, you can see how good I am. Anyway, I really love my camera and uh, this is how it looks, kind of. Uh, I sketched it very, very loosely. Now, this day we spent in the, like a theme park in Tel Aviv and again, a lot of these pages I did in the last couple of weeks or after we already came back home so it wasn't like in the moment and you know I could have sketched I could have sketched the photo or something like that but I just decided to print it and add it to my journal I love the way it turned out and I love incorporating you know my journaling into it and the stamping here and I printed it on this rice paper that I picked up when I was in Phoenix Arizona and I really like the the way that it looks has this really beautiful uh, matte uh, textured finish to it like you can see that it's you know paper so I really really like it and I printed more things on this paper in this journal okay I am not an urban sketcher by any means and I wish I, I would like to improve my skills but for now <laughs> these are just too fast uh, sketches of Tel Aviv uh, because I, I went I didn't stay in Tel Aviv although by looking at this journal you think I did but <laughs> we spent a few days uh, there and yeah so this is like the street where we stayed we stayed one night in a hotel and then this is where we got our breakfast again I printed it on this same rice paper and then here I also ran it through my um, typewriter so I added my typewriter after it was printed obviously you could do this in Photoshop uh, also these like I just added actual stamping I stamped on it but you could do this also in your editing software uh, if you don't have stamps or you don't want to um, this day was I think this I actually <laughs> drew um, while we were there and then these like three pages I added after I went with Ella my daughter to this shop where you can paint these beautiful ceramic dishes and then the next week or the week after you can pick them up uh, because they you know they glaze them and they bake them and that's I could do this every day <laughs> we had so much fun there so I had this one cup with a rainbow that I actually still don't know how it turned out because I sent my parents to get it we had to leave before it was ready but uh, we had a lot of fun there and I was just like playing a bit with color the next day we went to an exhibition in the Children's Museum in Holon it's a town in um, in Israel next to Tel Aviv and they have an exhibition about the Beatles. So I just drew some elements <laughs> of the Beatles to remember that day. And obviously I have journaling in every day. Okay, here started a little bit the rough patch of the trip. Uh, my mom got sick, like with a cold, and then I got sick. And you know, we had our my two girls with us and the days were just kind of long and intense. So yeah, to improve my mood, I sign up signed up for this online class that kind of focused on color 
and I just practiced a little bit and this is the cat that my parents have and she was a little bit um, insane at the time that we were there <laughs> so again this was just I had no mental strength to actually focus on journaling uh, so I just played around with color and here I messed up the days because I stuck this down and this actually wasn't the next day uh, this was the next day so forgive me um, and I went to my hometown to visit a friend and I just journal about it and there's some hidden journaling here which I typed on a typewriter and this is like some pattern paper that I got in a store in Israel this is just like this glassine bag that I had and then these letters were also in that paper pad that I got in Israel so I added some journaling super super simple and then this was the last day when we flew back from Israel to Austria and I flew alone with my girls and this was actually the first time that I did that again you can see I added my journaling with my typewriter here and then stamping but you can do this in Photoshop you don't have to have a typewriter I just enjoy using mine so again I just took a photo and printed it and I didn't do here any uh, sketching as you can see and then we came home and I had uh, waiting for me this pack of uh, Arteza gouache paints um, I wasn't sent to these paints I know everyone <laughs> have been getting them but um, I bought this from my own money and I've just been I just started playing with them so I I will not um, express any opinions just at this time just because I haven't used them enough to um, really decide what I think about them uh, this was just playing with some colors so you can see that from more of uh, documenting like a daily documenting memory keeping sketching type of thing it kind of moves on to somewhere else and I think mostly because we just came home and then we're back to daily life and routine and I just didn't feel that this daily documenting thing worked for me so yeah this was a horrible horrible attempt at painting some wisteria paints this was the day that I received these vintage pastels tin from Prima um, yeah I can't say I'm too crazy about them I played with them a little bit and if you want to see like a full review then leave me a comment it's one of those palettes that you know they're not versatile which I didn't expect them to be but I don't know I feel like some of the colors could use just a little bit more punch to them but in the meantime I sketched it so here I was playing with uh, gouache and it's quite there's quite a learning curve I just I was playing around with it it was really fun it's it's very different I like how easy it is to work with them and that I can use all my watercolor brushes and I don't have to bring acrylic brushes but yeah this yeah I'm not sure and I don't like how this turned out <laughs> this was fun this I did um, a sketch of my bookshelf as you can see a very 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 loose sketch but it is uh, somewhat realistic and basically I took I have like one big major okay I have a couple but this is the one where I keep all my books in my studio and it was a huge mess and I kind of con married it <laughs> from Marie Kondo uh, yeah I don't know why I, I pronounced her name with a French twist to it Mar Mary Mary Kondo I don't know <laughs> she's Japanese right so yeah whatever anyway I arranged the whole thing and I really kept all the things that I enjoy and want to have and want to keep and re and spark joy and all that stuff and then I painted it with really pretty watercolors obviously it doesn't look like this sadly <laughs> with beautiful watercolors and then I kind of wrote what I have in every uh, shelf but this was really fun to make and then I played a little bit more with some uh, gouache and yeah I kind of I like the colors on this I'm not too crazy about it this was just some paint tubes and journaling and then here I 
chickened out or lazy. <laughs> I was super lazy and I just added, I had this uh, paper. I think this is um, Ray Missigman, I want to say. I got a bunch of like these uh, sheets of her work in this like journal kit that I got like years ago and I never used them and um, yeah, so I really liked how it looked and that's it and it's there and then this is just a few sketches and This journal actually I started it like I don't know a year ago or something with a couple of these sketches and I never really fell in love with the journal so That's why I kind of started over on the other side. So I hope you enjoyed this um, again, the journal, I think if you want one for watercoloring, this is a really, really beautiful one. But I also, I think I prefer their Alpha series, which has uh, heavy weight paper, but this is like super heavy weight. The Alpha series is not as heavy, but it does uh, buckle more. This one doesn't buckle at all. It is really, I, I think for a journal, it's really kind of the best. I've seen with how heavy it is and how well it holds the paint. I also recommend checking out uh, Jackson's Art Supplies. That's where I get most of mine, but I'm sure other uh, websites have it. You can get a sample of all the papers that Stillman and Byrne offer, just the paper in their journals, and you can try out and see what you like because I do think their range of journals and the quality is really fantastic so it's worth finding a system or a series or a size or whatever that works for you because they are uh, beautiful i definitely prefer the soft covers to the hard covers and um, this size is very cute i really like it but i i kind of wish i had the alpha series so yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and have a crafty artsy day bye